Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for being here. Today we're talking about Farm Rio dresses again, but I'm sharing three specific things. One, how to easily cinch the waist on a dress. Two, I'm sharing a new Farm Rio dress that I forgot to share in my last Farm Rio video. And the third thing is a Farm Rio dress makeover. Yes, I did update a dress and I have to show you what I did in case you want to check it out and see the before and after. So the first thing we're going to get into is cinching the waist and this is what the dress looks like with the waist not cinched. So this is it just the way it is. I have worn this already but I've always worn a belt with it. This is just it in its natural state. And what I did was get a little piece of this material. This is actually cut from the belt that I end up using to tie this up. I just cut a small piece and sewed it on the sides, on both sides, right around the waist area where I wanted it to be pulled in. And then this is what it looks like with the belt tied in. I just put it through the loops on both sides and then tied it in the back with a simple tie. And this is how it's looking. And here I'm just showing how I did the same thing on this other dress. This one has the belt already attached. So this is just what the loop looks like and the belt is hanging in there. And then here's the one on the other side. And now I'm just gonna show you what the dress looks like with nothing tied on it. So this is what the loops look like, just plain. And then the dress is just pretty, it has no shape to it. And that's basically what the point of this is, is to cinch the waist just to give the dress a little more structure. And then here's how the belt will look. So I'm putting it on just the way you would normally put on a belt, but instead of tying it around in the front, I just pull it to the back and I'm here, I'm just making a simple knot. I'm not even making any kind of tie really, it's just a knot. And then the sides are nicely pulled in. And now I'm sharing that dress that I missed from before. This one um, disappointed me a little bit because I'll insert the picture here, but on the model, the colors are just really rich and vibrant. And I feel like in person, this is a very dull dress in comparison. It's cute. It's still really nice, beautiful dress, but it just doesn't look as good in person as it does in the pictures. It's a full maxi dress. It has kind of puffy sleeves. As you can see, the patterning on it is really, really, really unique and nice. And it zips up the back. It has a small button in the back or behind the neck. And it's just a really nice dress, but just, I was definitely fooled by the colors. So I just want to point that out. And I'll link all the dresses below if they're still available in case you want to check them out. And this one looks fine as is. I didn't feel the need to cinch the waist necessarily, but I did add this blue belt, this navy blue belt. It has a lot of texture to it. And I'm just adding that on. So this is what it looks like with a belt.
And then the last thing I'm sharing is the update that I made to this dress. So as you see here, the sleeves have these um, colorful little pieces on it. The first thing I did was remove those. And then the next thing was I felt like it had too much material around the front, like around the stomach area. It just kind of reminded me of a maternity dress, almost like a nightgown. It didn't feel like a dress. And I'll just insert a picture of the model wearing the dress. Even the way this um, middle section falls doesn't really match the way it looks in person. So I felt like I needed to change it. So what I did was cut this material off the front all the way across from side to side. And then I just smoothed it out. So I reattached the middle section and then worked my way out and added pins. And then I sewed this back on without the ruffle and without the gathered material. It just made the front of it very nice and smooth. So just a quick reminder, this is what it looked like before. And then this is what it looks like now. So that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.